what is going on everyone? Happy New Year. One of the extra I'm here. Ah, doing a little New Year's Day ride. I'm hoping I can upload it also on New Year's Day. Uh, but you know, no promises because you know I just get lazy. But let's uh let's do what everyone else is doing and uh you know do a little recap of the 2019 year. Oh man, let's see here. I got rid of some stuff, got some new stuff, was crazy busy, did a lot of schoolwork and put out a moderate amount of videos. There you go. <laughs> uh, you know, it was a busy ass year and this year is gonna prove to be no different. Um, it is going to be a grind. I'm going to have a lot of work to do and a lot of it's going to be towards the future you know it, it's not showing right now because uh, honestly it's just not done so this year is going to be busy we're going to have a lot to do we're going to have a lot of school work to do and uh, the videos will be sporadic at best uh, so I, you know i'll do my best uh, to get some stuff out because honestly i enjoy doing content um i don't want to not do content so I definitely want to get something out. And like I said, it'll be sporadic and hopefully it'll be good. What else? Ah, uh, so... It's chilly and it's a little chillier than I expected. <laughs> but yeah, so this year, um, you know, I, I have a lot of gear that I need to do a review on. I got this helmet that I need to do a review on. I, uh, I made a custom mount for this, uh, for the chin, because my helmet's got such a point to the chin area. And everyone's like, well, just put it on the side and then put an arm out and put it up and center it up that way. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like doing that. I don't want an arm. I just want one piece that goes on and that's it. Uh, so I actually fabricated from a, a traditional flat mount that GoPro provides. I fabricated something to actually fit the curve and then fit the uh, J mount as well, which proved to be tricky, but uh, about two hours and she was good. Oh man, so hopefully this year as well, uh, it'll provide for me to have a new bike. Uh, I wish I could say 100% what exactly it'll be, but you know, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, it's kind of how things will play out. You know, it could even be no bike. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a very big grind this year for me. And my focus is entirely on school and, and really just rocking that out and managing everything else. Um, I know it's funny I look on Facebook and I see you know all these oh my new year new me new year new me and I've done videos about resolutions in the past and I'm not going to do them again but if you are one of those people uh don't be <laughs> because new year's resolutions and shit like that very rarely pan out past about the first three weeks of January at which point life takes over things change and you don't adapt and then your goal setting and everything just kind of goes to the wayside so don't be one of those people who be like i'm gonna be better this year okay well how set tangible goals set realistic things stuff that you can actually get in a short amount of time and then build from them but that'll be my whole spiel on new year's resolutions because like i said i've done videos in the past go check them out how was your guys' New Year's? Did you guys do anything fun? Was Christmas great to you and everyone involved? I'm hoping it was. Leave a comment down below, let me know. Hit me up. Shoot, shoot my uh, socials, my Instagrams. Leave me a message. Comment on the pictures I put up. Do whatever, you know? Talk to me, I'm lonely. No, I'm not lonely, but, you know, most people do leave comments and I usually get back to you in a short amount of time. So hit me up, let me know. Let's be a year of getting in touch, you know? Uh, 
like I said, it's a little chilly out today. It's uh, just about 60. <laughs> I know. People are probably looking out back east or up north and going, fuck you. <laughs> oh, some other cool stuff. Like I said, I got a bunch of gear reviews I got to do. Uh, oh, that's actually really nice. Um, so aside from the riding gear that I've gotten uh, this past year, um, I dropped the camera onto the freaking CPL filter and the camera itself and it shattered the CPL filter. It didn't mess the camera at all. So I needed a new um, circular, circular polarized lens. That's what CPL is. And I, I didn't want to go with something that slides over the housing like these last ones were. I wanted something a little more robust. Uh, so I went on search and I found, uh, I can't remember the fucking name of them now that I'm riding. Uh, some filters that actually you unscrew the lens that already comes with your and this is hero six and sevens mind you maybe maybe fives I'm not sure but definitely six or sevens the lens that can actually um, unclip off like ro rotate about 90 degrees and it comes off it's just these little spring clips that hold it on and I found replacement lenses that are actually like this one is a CPL that I'm using. I have a UV one, which I don't think I'm going to use simply because, uh, from what I've read, your standard lens is already a UV, so it's basically just a backup. And all UV does is exactly what it sounds blocks UV rays. And I've also heard that it creates sunspots not sunspots, uh, like light rays and um, uh, bright points in your footage. And I, I don't want that. Uh, I also got, what are they, colored lenses, magenta, yellow, cyan, maybe? Um, basically three colors, and I had some people ask, well, why, why the colors? Eh, well, sometimes you get a cool effect from it. Other times, if you're shooting in certain elements, like if you actually use these underwater, you get the red tint, and it'll put the red back in. Uh, that the water actually filters out the rays they'll make it through the water. So a little stuff like that. Uh, and I've heard the yellow, I kind of want to use at night one time uh, because, and actually even during the day, uh, because you know those glasses that you can get that, uh, that are tinted yellow, they're supposedly high definition and yellow glasses. It filters out everything, makes things clear, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of want to see that. I think it'd also be kind of a cool, uh, It'd also be kind of cool lighting, uh, simply because uh, there's a lot of yellow and green tones out here. So, to have a yellow filter might bring out other colors a little bit more. So, that's a yellow filter. Yellow tint lens, not yellow filter. That's misleading. Uh, so, we'll see. What is this idiot going to do? Is he going to turn? Put it just slow down for no fucking reason. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I got some little goodies in that regard. And like I said, I'll probably go over some sometime in the near future. But also, like I said, I want this year to kind of be in contact with uh, everyone else. Popo? Oh, no, no, not Popo. I don't know who the fuck that is. A lot of bikers out today. Nice. Um... I like to get in touch with uh, you guys, you know, I like to comment back and forth, you know, little video ideas, stuff, um, questions you might have for me or questions you might have in general that you don't feel other vloggers have already answered or you feel that I answer a particular way that you enjoy, definitely ask me. Uh, you know, I, I tend to have a slightly different view on things than most others, which, you know, no big deal. But, uh, but you know, uh, getting different points of views and opinions on things will help you better make choices, uh, form your own conclusions, and stuff like that. I was watching uh, some new Neil deGrasse Tyson, I wouldn't say an interview, but it's kind of an interview talking about data and opinions and 
uh, different types of biases that come up as personal, political, religious, and then the objective. And, you know, not having a bias one way or the other and simply taking information and data from different credible sources and really forming your own educated opinion on things. So that way, when you try to describe something to a person, it's, there's really no bias into it. You're just relaying information. It's not information that's gathered only to prove your point, which a lot of people do, media and everything else. Uh, of course, you're going to gather as much data and information to prove, you know, what it is you're trying to talk about. But if you're only going to just kind of give the information out there, uh, there's no real bias one way or the other. It was a cool little interview. And those of you that are new to motorcycling, those of you that are new to different bikes, new to riding, new to really anything else, you kind of have to really broaden the scope of the people that you listen to. So, if I can help do that, let me know. Chat with me, yo. I am despite my schedule, we'll always be able to respond in some fashion. Oh, my God, I love the sound of this bike. I told my wife, I'm like, yeah, I'm probably going to go to here. It might even be the whole way. And I'm, I'm riding right now. I'm just like, man, it feels good. <laughs> I, was, I was concerned because I'm a little sore. Uh, we decided to work out. Yes, work out. Not, man, can't work out. Uh, <laughs> Do a little bit of exercising which uh you know with my schedule has been it's fucking near impossible and it's really all it's really my fault it's I'm not gonna blame it on being busy with school or work or all that may have other other bullshit i'm doing but it's really just not finding that right mixture yet uh so i believe i found the weightlifting part uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So now I'm trying to do something during the week that uh, also is good for me, like cardio. So I'm going to do cardio Monday through Thursday. At home, I'm going to get up early, er, which sucks because I do have an early ass class and that just makes my life miserable. But you make a schedule, make a routine, you can stick to it a lot easier, and you actually achieve what you set out to achieve. So, Monday through Thursday, AM cardio, and cardio for me is going to consist of some sort of Peloton core workout along with either yoga or some sort of like 20 minute boot, nothing more than 30 minutes every single day, and then like I said, work out on the weekends which my weekends are going to consist of motorcycle riding and probably school. Brennan got like Oh damn, you're going real fucking slow. bike is just a fucking monster. It really is. It just wants to go fast. It just pulls. Ah, I love it. But yeah, man. It's been a crazy year. 2019 was uh, a lot of let it, a lot. <laughs> 2019, I let a lot of things go. Uh, stuff that I had worked hard for. And uh, quite frankly, I let them go because of what I believe the future will bring and the opportunities it opens up for me. 
So I had talked to a buddy of mine, you know, like, what kind of car are you? He's like, how does it feel now that you're slow <laughs> in a car world? I'm like, well, it kind of fucking sucks. I'm like, but, you know, I got an SUV, which is definitely what I actually needed. Um, and the amount of mileage I'm going to put on it, it, it made absolute perfect sense. However, uh, this year, like I said, school, uh, house, and then from there, more toys. I, I want, I've always wanted a McLaren. Um, unfortunately, I've been doing a lot of research on them and they're not retaining their value all that well. On top of that, the reliability has gone to shit with a lot of really big name YouTubers and a lot of just other cars in general. And it sucks uh, because you know, the 675 LT is still a car I want to get. But even that's depreciating now, which it wasn't uh, about two years ago. It was actually some of those cars are still rolling in 350, 400 grand. Now I've seen ones down to low 170s, 180s. And it's crazy because those cars are uh, a more limited run. So it worries me. So what I'm looking at now is an Audi R8. Uh, V10 specifically You know, I, I can't find a major fault with them. They are as powerful as most other Cars in their category. However Their price points are way better and despite them having a lower price point They've actually retained their value pretty decently uh, Grand you can still you can pick one up the V8 that is for around 60 grand and the V10s and the high in the mid 70s but that's again for a now it's 11, 12 year old car. It's like I found 2015, 2016s for the low ones. Uh, so they're still holding a decent value and they're not insanely expensive, but you know they're gonna work. I know they've had reliability issues in the past, uh, but that's not so much the case now. At least again from research done. So we'll see, you know, next two years, maybe it'll be an R8 on the channel. Who knows? My wife wants an NSX, which again, if we give it two years, it'll probably be around the same price point. I dig them both. Can't beat accurate reliability, or Toyota, mind you. So, yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of things building uh, this year, much like last year, is a culmination of just finishing, finishing school, grinding it out. Uh, the following year will be, you know, really the last hoorah for school. I'll be pretty much done. And that is very exciting because, you know, the next steps come. Um, I do plan on working on my business more this year. I'm not sure how much more again with with school and trying to work and then build a business something falls and i can't let school be the one that falls so we'll see how that works out but i, I like to add little new touches here and there to make it still relevant on the google search engine but yeah um i hope you all enjoy your time off. I hope you guys had a lot of time off. Uh, one of the cool things about where I work is we shut down for the week of Christmas all the way till the week after New Year's. So I don't get back still till next Monday. It's it's quite fantastic. So for those of you that are at work, I'm sorry. I might have this video up sometime way late tonight. It's actually a pretty long video, so please stay tuned and enjoy. Later. <laughs>